Welcome to another episode of Cam and Andals. In this episode, we'll show you the finished product of our bus conversion, say an emotional goodbye and set off on our travels around Australia. First, we visit Clermont and then spend the night in Emerald where we play on the playground, find little hidden painted rocks and ride around the botanical gardens on our bikes. In the first episode, we showed you a glimpse of what it took to convert this old school bus into a livable motorhome. But just because it was livable, didn't mean it was finished. So our goal for the next six months was to finish the bus properly and save some money so we could finally hit the road. During the six months, we constantly had a long list of jobs to do. It was like the list never ended. My dad helped us install the front door. My mom helped us upholster the lounges. We got all the right certification and registered the bus about a week before we were set to leave. We could finally set off on our adventure. one of the most historic towns of northern Australia because it was the first inland settlement in the tropics. In 1861, a group of shepherds were sent to the lagoon, now called Hood's Lagoon, with orders to build huts. As these men happened to have a history of prospecting, they soon found large amounts of payable gold in the area. Even today, people head to Clermont to look for gold. My grandparents included. The town has a population of about 3,000 people and survives off the nearby mining and agricultural farming. So we're about to go past one of the biggest mining towns in Queensland. What is that? It's processing plant. Where they make coal. Oh, where they mine it. We arrived at Claremont Caravan Park where we had a spot that looked out over a paddock and was parked right behind my grandparents' caravan. Nana and Pa spoiled us rotten with beautiful dinners, desserts and even a bag full of homemade cookies to take with us. Thanks Nana and Pa! So we just pulled up in Emerald at the Botanical Gardens just to have a little look. We just had some lunch, avocado on toast. We're just going to go explore the botanical gardens, wear Zara out, play on the playground and then think about where we're going to go tonight. It's already like 3 o'clock so we better hurry up and decide.
Now I feel sick. What did you find? And here, but I keep it. Hold them up so I can see. And what do they say? C E T I O. Oh yeah. Good. Can I see, please? So this is like a little system where people paint rocks and then they leave them hiding in different places for everybody to find them. Is that what it is? Yeah. It's huh. cool, they do it in Ingham as well. Oh. Is that like a thing? Yeah. So you just get a little rock whenever and paint it and you can like write whatever you want. That's like a job. Yeah, we should do it. Hmm. We better hide them again. Can't just leave them there. Put them back to their work. Perfect. I just put it back. Wow. Cool. Cool. Someone's been busy. Something put it there. Yeah. Pe some people put it there on the wall. Yep, that's right. Put it up there. Good spotting, I didn't even see it. I think I can see another one as well. Where? So we wandered around the botanical gardens for a little while and then found out where the free camp was, which is just beside the highway, next to a bridge and a train track. But it's good, it's big, there's a lot of people here. Um, and it backs onto the botanical gardens as well, so that's good. So now we're about to get the bikes up and go for a ride. What did you think of the ride, Zara? We went really fast. We did, hey, it's like a roller coaster. You go up and then down and then up. Should we keep going? We'll go find that playground. Alrighty. Found that flight. Sarah reached his mommy. And they lived happily ever after. Yeah! I'm I'm awake. <laughs> this is the view out our bedroom window. Few caravans and stuff parked up, and there's coals straight through there. Okay. So we're gonna walk over and get some groceries, go to the playground, and then go. This is the other side of the window. Dirty window. First morning in a free camp. Did you sleep good? Uh, not really. Oh. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but I just woke up a few times. From noise? Yeah, uh, having to pee. Uh, I slept really good. It's good. And now we've woken up and the gas bottle's empty. <laughs> Didn't even boil the water, but we got it warm. So. Do you have a warm coffee? And what have you got, Zara? Bickies. Bickies? Mm -hmm. And what? Milk. Milk? Yes. Yeah. Yum. Do you need a jumper on? Mm, just first. Okay, I'll just I, go get it. I want to eat my Bickies, okay? Okay. <laughs> eat my, like my milk up in my mouth and my jumper. That Bickies. sounds perfect. Okay, you do that. So I'm going to swap the gas Yeah. Yep. It'd be great. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you could give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, that will help us out a lot. Also, you can check out our Patreon and Instagram accounts. Tune in for the next episode where we ease into bus life by relaxing at a free camp next to a lake and cook our dinners on the fire.